So here we are, 2018. The Halloween preparations have begun. They've been going on for a few days now, but today is the first day the pumpkins are here. And we are, as usual, documenting the activity for the 2018 rendition of Halloween on Hudson Street and Fleetwood Avenue in Bethel. Leftover corn and amaranth from the flourishing garden of summer. And now autumn is in full swing. And here we go, the next generation is in the yard, getting ready, excited, ready to carve the pumpkins. Now, people often ask, why, why does this go on here? Really, it's all about art. Just creating something beautiful. And the other day I was in the grocery store and I said, are you ready for Halloween to one of the attendants? And I got a response that said, I don't celebrate Halloween. Well, that's fine, but Halloween, you can't escape. Halloween's just a word for this time of year. It's been going on for eons. The sunlight is changing and the circadian rhythm of humanity notices a change. No one can deny that you feel good and you wake up early in the summer and at this time of year, autumn, the dwindling sunlight feels like you're ready to hibernate. And our ancestors, the human, human ancestors, were so connected with the sunlight that they couldn't help it. They had to have some kind of celebration to express this feeling that they had. The change in the human psyche as connected to the sun. We are all products of sunlight and all these pumpkins in the field are just the sum total of a year's worth of photosynthesis and sunlight. Here's the matriarch still carving pumpkins and she blames him for all of this. She's waiting for her son to stop all of this. Last year, Levi was just in a stroller with his eyes closed, sleeping. But now he's taking it all in. He'll make this someday, right? Leftover rain from last night's remnant of the hurricane. It came up the eastern seaboard. And the garden kale is still lush. And again, that's the theme. Look at this. The merging of autumn, summer, harvest, and winter arriving. The transitional season. This we celebrate. All right, so Levi is hard at work scooping out these pumpkin guts. We're training him. He's in training, and yeah, he's going to throw it in the, the bucket there. Good work. You learn to gut a pumpkin before you learn to talk. There we go. And the pumpkins have arrived a fresh load from the farm. We're here unloading. And it's still a bit overcast, but it's warming up. The pumpkins are being piled up. The production line is here and they're being positioned. And then they will be lifted onto the tables. And the uh, production line will continue. Halloween preparations are in full swing. Some of the familiar faces from all of our CT Naturalist television shows are still here. They've made it down to another year. 
his family. See Rodney. His wife stays. Hundred years old. He's been to many Halloweens. The roof is getting decorated. And one of our guests was just here. And he was saying these traditions, rituals are important for humanity. Rituals. So that's another reason we keep this ritual going. Rituals are connected to the earth somehow. William Butler Yeats rituals. So we're going to keep these going at least for this year. There, there is some talk of this being the final year. If you're watching this video, if you're watching this whole video, you'll probably have some connection to this event. So this ritual has been going on for over 30 years. Mm, that one's too heavy. That's a, that pumpkin's too heavy for you. Over there's a small one. Okay, Levi wants to do some work. So he's watching all of his relatives and he wants to help. Let's see if he figures it out. Levi, there's a small pumpkin right over there. That one's too big. So the synthesis. The young are mimicking the adults here in Levi. Now walking is carrying the pumpkins over to the workbench. Wake up, come on. And he has a sense of accomplishment. Contribution. Everybody is contributing here. And there's Joel with his unique style of pumpkin carving. And night is arriving on the scene over the pumpkins. And the gray clouds give this a shadowless, surreal feel here. When it's overcast, there are no shadows. And everything has this sort of translucence. Let's go back to our magic ball. Twilight is upon us. And the beginning of the preparations this year seems very much like Halloween. If you have been watching the archives over the past few years, and you know about the book, it hardly seems like Halloween that we often quote from. This year, at this moment, it seems like Halloween. And I keep rambling on and on. But, uh, Silent films are a little bit boring, so better to hear something than nothing. <laughs>